Hello everyone. Today is a go as far as you can see with you. I would like to share with you some uh, ideas that you can use. Let's say, for instance, on a remodeling house. I'm preferring in my house uh, all the accessories in the bath, thermometer everywhere to be uh, door handles, to be uh, uh, stainless steel brushed. Um, so the brush is only always expensive compared to uh, for instance uh, let's say set of um, table holder and a probably toilet paper holder small set uh, at Home Depot cost approximately 40 bucks plus taxes um, in my case this stuff right here it's, it's a lot of cheaper it's probably around 29 or 19 dollars so I bought this at the local hardware store, not in the Home Depot. I bought it at really cheap, so I paid only uh this is just like regular stainless steel color. So I pay about nine dollars for that. So when I buy um uh, wire wire mesh, we're gonna need a wire mesh. And also I bought uh this pen of paper uh 3M approximately size of 250 or 300 it will work F final finer is better and it's not on a paper it's not material send paper so the whole idea is this is actually same same items As you can see this is stainless steel this is a brush already and I don't want to pay three times more for this one well I can just buy that one so this was shiny about uh, several hours ago and here's what you do you wrap it around with a paper like this and um, I'll show you this way it's, it's better so just like that and spin it around while you're spinning go up and down Don't push too hard. So you'll just need to make a little final thing. You don't want to shade off so much material. The same on this side. So if you look at this right now, it's my hand is. Uh, has aluminum shade on it, or not aluminum, but a stainless steel, so we do get your wet rug ready, so you can wipe your hands off and um, wipe off exceeds off of the material off of your item. So in our case, right now, it is brushed. We have some missing spaces right right here so you can do a little better job than me I guess and um, at the final moment you can polish it a little bit with um, wire mesh just to give a final look so that was for the towels so polish it very well so that's it that's basically how it goes so how we take care of this thing right here well I'll show you I take this thing apart would be nice if you can take things apart so you can work away with them a lot easier um, and you can do a lot better job if they come off apart this one compared to this one as you can see two different items but it's the same item and you can probably sell it like this okay so here's what we got okay wrap it around let's say around this end and as you can see spin it back and forth 
gently and it's really brush brush it same as this side and sometimes it's really hard to get into the corners like really hard to get into the corners but this bowl is shiny so we'll just scratch them whatever way you want to scratch them see I'm losing the shinies immediately so it doesn't take very much of a time and too much of a challenge whenever you think you see it is shiny just apply like this your finger on it and polish it up spot try to do every corners I still have to do paper toilet holder but this basically is pretty much ready so give it a little bit of smooth rough with our wire mesh and that's it voila it's ready same with this piece my paper pretty much already wear out yeah, I need to get a different piece of paper as you can see it doesn't take very long it takes me maybe 20 minutes to turn a stainless steel into our brush metal Press firmly. This is actually a main job. If you have if you have a strong fingers that's good. If you're a lady. But you have to give some pressure. I don't know. I'll probably give them about ten pounds at least. As you can see it changes changes shape and the texture immediately so after we finished just make sure you don't miss any spots you can give them some rough Nice to have a bigger piece of sandpaper. And like I said, material sandpaper is better than all right than a paper one. And a little bit over here. There I go. Corners usually stays shiny. So make sure you apply enough pressure on the corners. See right here at the edge. They are after uh, computers, machines made them. They leave a little bit of bends and stuff. So and hard to reach those spots. You can't really see it, but there's a bend over here. So it's really hard to get inside that bend. But anyway, that's good enough. Polish it a little bit. Hands are dirty. So wipe it off. Hands on your accessories. And now it's ready to assemble back.
and there you go in about 15 to 20 minutes we have polish it like from the store as you can see inside is shiny outside is brushed very good job and I hope this will going to uh, save you a little bit of money if anyone likes it subscribe uh, leave the comments any ideas share with other peoples alright thank you for watching my video